everyone! Welcome to Sunday. My name is Gabe and I will be filling in for Xander for the next couple of weeks while he's on vacation. Well, as you probably know, this week's topic is when did you first know you were trans? So let's just get right into that because this is going to take a little while. I uh, knew probably from like a really young age though, so when I was a kid I didn't really know there was a difference between genders. Like I knew I was called a girl and I knew my friend Brent was called a boy, but we liked doing the same stuff and the only real difference that I knew was that sometimes I had to wear a dress and we used different bathrooms. At the end of the day we were both digging in the dirt, picking up worms and throwing them in the urn. Yeah, we liked worms. It was great. But you know, I think my first real hint that I was a boy was um, when I was starting puberty. And actually for me that started in grade school. Like I started developing in grade four. By grade five I had to wear a training bra and <laughs> that was uncomfortable. But um, you know, breasts didn't really bother me so much. Because, I mean, at the time there was not much there, it was really just like two small lumpy things, and it was like, um, okay, it's happening, whatever. But, you know, um, they weren't in the way, but when I started to <laughs> hemorrhage every month, well, I didn't get why my mom was so happy and everyone else was so happy. Oh my god, you're growing up. I can't believe it. I'm bleeding. For like five days. It's a school week. This shouldn't be normal. And it made me extremely uncomfortable. I was disgusted with myself. And I mean there was a lot of blood and I was like either supposed to sit on this thing that's like a diaper or shove something up into me and that no that was not a pleasant idea for me it made I seriously I hated my body it made me absolutely sick I, I had problems with it before that for being overweight and I mean like Things were growing on my chest, and things were hemorrhaging out of me, and I was going, this isn't right, something is wrong. So, I, I seriously, when I started to develop more, I felt like something was absolutely fucking wrong with me. I thought that I was some sort of freak, because I, I was like, maybe I'm not trying hard enough. So, I wore more girly clothes, I got makeup, I painted my fingernails every day, different colors. I still like painting my fingernails sometimes, but mostly so I don't bite them because I'll start biting and forget that I'm biting and then I'll start bleeding and it's an unpleasant experience for everyone. Beside the point. But like yeah, I'd wear pretty things and tight fitting clothes and makeup and you know, by like 7th grade I had tits everywhere. Yeah, it's unpleasant. It's everywhere and hopefully soon they'll be gone. Around the time that I was like wearing all these skirts and pretty things and oh my god the strings on your jeans have leopard print on them and look at the cute little beads. Fuck you, they're jeans. But I started going online as a boy. Which was really hard whenever we had like super duper parental controls on my um on my computer because I may have been caught looking up fan fiction a couple times. But yeah, so I was going online as a guy. Like there would be come times and I'm like, my name is birth name and I am a couple years older than I was. But most of the time it was like, my name is William. I'm, you know, my age or a couple years older and I'm a boy and that's how that would go. And I felt so much more comfortable talking as a guy that I started thinking, well, maybe that's more right for me. Just maybe. Maybe I'm a guy. But then I was like, no, you're crazy. You can't be a guy. How can you be a guy? You've got tits and things. 
Like, I didn't know the word transgender until one day I was telling my therapist about this. Yeah, I was telling her and she was sort of skirting around the topic like, oh, let's talk about your sexual orientation. Cause you've talked to me before and at the time I was identifying as bisexual with, and I actually, I was defining it as pansexual. I just was like, I didn't know there were other words. Again, word problems. But, and she just happened to mention, like, she was like, um, well, maybe here's some stuff. Here's a transgender. And she didn't say, like, I think you're trans. She said, well, this is something that's out there. And I was like, really? That something? Let me look up this something. Because I am curious. So I got home and I used Google. Because it was in the dictionary. And I looked in the dictionary. And I realized that pretty much describes me. Yeah. Trends? Well, let's, let's think about it for a little while. Hmm. Don't feel like a girl. Serious body issues. But that could just be being part of a teenager. Go online, talk as a boy, feel better as a boy, identify better as a boy, do better boy things than girl things, despite the fact that I've been told by my mother that I make a better woman than she does, and then I had to point out that all of the physical characteristics that she keeps pointing out come from my father. You have a smaller mouth and more delicate shoulders and tiny hands. Yeah, so is my dad. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, I know, you're like... Five foot ten, broad shouldered. Why couldn't I have gotten those jeans? Come on, people. I mean, I'm short and pale and squishy. Why couldn't I have gotten that? I would love to be tall. Beside the point. I figured it out, but I didn't tell my mom right away because she reacted really badly whenever I told her, hey, I'm not straight. And I didn't want that reaction again. But when I went to high school, I changed schools and I wanted to come out and use a different name, use my actual name, start going by Gabe. Well, she um, didn't react well. It was the summer between grade 9 and grade 8. I said that backwards. But yeah, and I was, she didn't like it and she said, you can't tell anyone because I was going to the school where she taught and I told several of my friends anyway. And I started going by Gabe. And I did not answer to the other name. And I wrote Gabriel on all of my papers. And I have ever since. I didn't actually start real transition until three years after when I graduated. And I got my first squisher binder. I know, I like calling them squishers because I mean it's like smooshing and squishing everything down. But yeah, let me just recap. I knew that I was trans from early on. But I didn't know what my exact feelings meant or what they were called until I was in my teenage years when I was, you know, getting older and everything was happening. And I mean, I'm not very far along in my transition, obviously. I mean, I'm not on testosterone. I mean, none of you know me. So, I'm not on testosterone. I haven't had any surgeries. I don't even see a therapist right now because I can't afford it. I'm going to college. I have no money whatsoever. It's vaguely funny but if I have any advice for anyone out there if you are in the closet even if you don't want to come out right now even if you were afraid to come out right now just be true to yourself and never let anyone out there tell you that you're not exactly who you know you are you know who you are better than anyone else well that's all for me see you next Sunday have a great week everyone